Hello, welcome to my channel. I am at my messy desk. I got about everything out here at the moment. Um, I've just been playing with some of my colored pencils and this sketchbook I've shown a couple times and it's just kind of the one I've designated to just colored pencil coloring. Um, and I've been trying a couple of different things today, so I thought it would be fun to share. I think I've flipped it through it a few times already, but in different videos. So I'll just go past this. Oh, okay. I don't want to show that just yet. That's the main one. So I've just been doing some doodles and some character art that I usually would be doing in here. Some outfits. I really like to draw clothes. I've got a bunch of old drawings of clothes and I'm trying to get back into it. I used to do it for hours and color them with crayons and whatever else. So I've been working on that and just some little scenes for projects that I'd like to work on. As I realize there's a lot of shadow covering over this one because of all my pencil cups here. But and I'm just working on layering some of these newer brands that I've got just seeing how they perform together. I think that might be as far as I've gotten with these pages. I've drawn some pictures on here and you can't really see them, but I've really been liking using um, these Sharpie Gem Tone Ultra Fine Point. I got a little five pack and at first some of the colors I thought were way too light, but actually for doing colored pencil drawings, it's super nice to do the line art with it because the colored pencil goes over it and you can't see it anymore. So I'm liking using those in place of a pencil. Then I don't have to go back and erase the pencil line. But what I'm working on today, which is what you're going to be joining me for, is something I've never done before. And I'm not that great at it yet, but I would like to get better at it. And that is kind of glowing effects, specifically with lava <laughs> so I've been playing with this and it's pretty fun so far I'm going to zoom it in just a little more it's always looks so scratchy on the camera but I think part of it's the glare um it looks a little better in person but anyway I'm trying to get these effects down pat so I tried um my Faber-Castell Black Edition you know I use those in pretty much every video it seems like my Lyra Rembrandt which I'm trying to get it to show without this glare I should probably put that light up top um, there's quite a bit of wax on this Faber-Castell one and then I opened up the Pagos art which I colored it a little bit different I'll probably redo it and have more of that yellow glow coming through I was trying to do lava and then I've got another little sketch here then I want to do, this one was with my uh, Star Joy pencils, which again, I don't know why on this phone, it's like such high definition, it makes everything look grainy, but in person it doesn't look quite that grainy. I think just because it's like a 32 megapixel or something ridiculous for this camera, but when you're zoomed out, it doesn't look quite like that. And in person, it doesn't look as scratchy. It looks more blended together. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, I'm trying to do all different little volcano scenes. So I wanted to do this one with my color pencils just to see how they perform. So I thought we could do it together. And I already picked out the colors I was going to use. I just kind of bundled them together here. <laughs> and I had loosely pulled up references I just kind of looked at everything and just combined it all together so I'm not copying off of anything at the moment actually I've got a YouTube video that I really want to watch in the background but I'll save it but the picture that I was looking at for this one it was uh had uh it was red orange from here down and then the red kind of faded into a gray as it reached the ground so I thought that would be kind of a fun effect to play with see this is more accurate how the colors look still looks terrible on camera though my gosh they look better in person and maybe they really do look like that and I just didn't notice how crappy I was doing with my coloring I was very, 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 very 
surprised and pleased with those Pecos pencils. I know that doesn't look like much in that little teeny tiny sketch, but they just laid down so smoothly. I might have to get another set once the no-buy ends. I'm sorry, I can't get the lighting right in here. I need to be closer to a window. It's like no matter what I do, this camera just picks everything up in a weird way. I wonder if I can change the settings on it or something. It seems sharpened almost too much. I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to edit it. Tone it down a little. It's too much. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, this was just a fun little challenge today that I decided to do. I've been having an image in my head. I have a, another concept on another page here of kind of expanding this idea, but I wanted to see which pencils would work the best for this effect. So I've just kind of been drawing these little scenes. I was going to draw the same one over and over, but that idea immediately turned me off, so I just kind of drew varied states of lava. And as always, I always just kind of do my base colors and then I add everything over top of it. I'll bring this over just a little bit more. Whoops, somebody's sending me a message. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to look super grainy at first and I'm hoping it'll show up on camera better than the others are showing. It's weird how that is. It's like it'll look fine in person to our naked eye, but these cameras have such high definition to them now it's brings out every little grain and things that our regular naked eye can't really pick up I shouldn't say can't I guess it can if I can see it in the camera but when I'm looking at it normally I just don't see that anyway so I'm just using some oranges, reds, yellows. The star joint one was fun. They laid, they just laid down really well on this sketchbook paper. I can't remember what brand this is. I feel like it was just like a you create one of those cheaper ones. I don't really know. I've had it for a little while now, but it's been my colored pencil one this year. I really want to fill it up by the end of the year, but I don't know if I can color fast enough for that. A lot of times it ends up being just concept art. Which is fine. Oops, I guess I'm shading here. I'm supposed to just be laying the color on. Come on, Hale. Stay focused. But I really love how this green Sharpie's been working out. There's a pink color in there that's really hard to see. I couldn't see it at all, so I don't know what I'll use that for. I mean, even on just plain white paper, I could barely see the lines. At first I thought, oh, I'll use these with watercolor. But then they're so much lighter than what you expect them to be. I knew they were going to be pastel or gem tones, but I didn't think they would be that hard to see. But so far they're working out okay for this. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to close the book here so I don't have this thing leaking off the... I'm going to color my dark section in so I don't have to worry about scribbling over my lines later. That's one thing I told myself. If you're going to have so many pencils, you got to start using them in different ways. So <laughs> I've been trying to push for more backgrounds and environment type things. And I've never done really fire or lava. I tried to do some fire things earlier this year and I haven't really returned to them. So this kind of combines all the aspects of the fire. I really like this one a lot. And then this one, I how it looks like melty cheese. <laughs> I'm 
but it was funny because when I had first tried to use those Pagos pencils, I was using them on printer paper and I didn't really care for them on that, but they just colored so smoothly on here. So maybe something a little toothier is better for that pencil, but it made me want to buy a second set. <laughs> so I added them to my wish list for next year when I come off this no buy. Hopefully they'll still be around. If not, I'll have to make do with what I've got. Really, really impressed with them though. I can't wait to do a bigger drawing with just those pencils. The Rembrandt, Lyra Rembrandt ones were pretty scratchy on this paper, but I wasn't doing that great blending them, I'll be honest. I started out okay and then my hands started getting really sore. I was already coloring for a while by then. All right, let's see. I don't really want to do this in the volcano right just yet, but well, I got this pencil in my hand. Mine as well. And I gotta say, I didn't really have any breakage issues with anything other than my black edition pencils. Those pencils are horrible for breaking. That's what those two pink leads are on the desk. It's just that pencil, I just put it to the paper and it immediately broke. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh. They're already so short and I have been using them a lot, but at the same time, they break a lot also. So I'm just burning through the cores. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So over here, and this is becoming pretty blunt. And this is dark gray in the Color brand or Shuttle Art or Brute Furner 180 or whatever other ones are that are the dupes of all these sets are all the same, but I love these pencils a lot. I have two sets of them. I love them so much. I should do one with my Prismas and see. I haven't used those in so long. Kind of curious if I can get that same effect. And I've been using kind of a, I don't know if it's like a red orange or it's almost, it's almost like a pinky red color for these outside accents on it. You'll see when I color it in, but it's interesting to look at the lava and to break down the different colors that are in it. It's like the center tends to be more of a glowing yellow or a white with yellow around it. And then it just becomes more red as you get to the outside of it. I gotta remember to keep this in the frame here. I haven't been feeling that great this week, and I meant to do a video on Sunday when I was off of work, but I ended up just sleeping. <laughs> <coughs> and now all of a sudden I have to cough when I try to record a video. <coughs> Sorry. had this salmony orange I was gonna try to work into this somehow it's so dark in here I thought I put the light over this and you can't even see oh well such is life every time you want to have something work right it just doesn't want to cooperate I'm going to have to edit out all of the sound here. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> but I couldn't tell if I was getting sick or if it's just my sinuses acting up. I always have sinus issues, so it's difficult to say. Oh, I meant to pick out like a blue-gray for the sky too, I forgot. Oh, I'll get it in a minute. <clears throat> this is kind of a salmon color. 
I want to start light and then build it up to an orange. That way, hopefully it could not have so much of that harsh line as what I've got in the other ones. Although, looking at it with just my naked eye, it doesn't look as harsh as it shows up on camera. Whoops, I'm not in frame again. Whoops, oops, oops, oops. I'm surprised how many views I've been getting lately. They really picked up out of the blue here. I mean, compared to more established channels, it's nothing crazy, but for me, I was like, holy cow. Within the last two days, I got like 100 views or something. I don't know. It's been pretty crazy. This stupid camera. <laughs> If it's not one thing, it's another. playing with this salmon. It's really fun when you start adding the red. Maybe I'll do the red into the orange. The hardest part about doing the lava texture has been trying to create the illusion of thickness. Because when you look at lava, when it's rolling down those hills and that, it looks thick like a, a goo, like a molten goo. And it's a little hard to capture that. In the drawing. So I want to work on adding, I guess you kind of got to add a shadow around the bottom edges of it in that to make it look three-dimensional. <clears throat> I haven't mastered it, but that's, that's the eventual goal is to get the technique right here. Oops, that's a little dark. Oops, oops, oops. Always making mistakes. brighten up that yellow area so that it starts looking like it's got that glow. But it stands out the most when it has these other colors around it, so I want to add some more of the red. I kind of want to turn this red into more of that, uh, it's kind of a gray red in the pictures once it starts coming all the way down the rock. When it's coming out the top, that's when it's the reddest, the brightest, 
the hottest part must be the whitest part. I don't know. Just like with. I don't know. We're just winging it, you know? We are just winging it. I think right in here is where I'll start doing my gray. this would stay up where I want it to. I think just because the desk is moving a little bit because I'm putting a lot of pressure it's making it dip down. Oh well. We'll live. Right now I really want to go back with the yellow. And create that glowing effect. Is it working? I don't know. The middle should stay kind of a light white color for it to really pop out. Ooh, look at my lava. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun with this today. It's so different than anything I've ever done. these glowing elements to the little and I liked doing that kind of a almost a webbing effect down the rock I thought that would be kind of cool I want to do a big one and that's gonna be that's kind of what I'm working towards is trying to master this little technique I don't know if I'll master it but at least get something where it looks like it looks like what it's supposed to and then I want to put it into a, a really big drawing I think it would be fun to draw a bunch of lava. I've got a vision in my head. I'm not going to give it away yet. But when I work on the the actual piece, then I'll show you. I don't know if I'll record the entire thing. These are so long, even just to do something simple like this. I mean, this is like a 3 by 4 inch little space in my sketchbook and even that took 20 minutes to do. Alright, I know this looks crazy at first, but bear with me. I want it to be a like a dark blue sky, but I don't want it to be I don't want it to stand out too much. Alright, let's see. Any color blue will do. I got all my pencil cups sitting behind the camera here. This is 
gray blue. I say any blue will do, and then I question it. Okay. Do, do, do. Maybe I'll use this one in a lighter blue. This is not really layering that well. Not really layering that well. Some colors out of that set layer better than others. I don't know. Like, it's just scratching the surface there. It's not even putting anything down. I don't know why that is. It's just something I've noticed in using that brand. Some will work, blend flawlessly, and then you base your opinion on those, you know, few pencils, and then you get some duds like this that don't even lay down properly. So that can be frustrating. Maybe I just need to sharpen it. When in doubt, sharpen it out. And maybe a lighter one just for some other kind of effect. I don't know. This is like a blue green color. Not really much into burnishing, but it's not showing up any other way over this gray. I should have did the blue first and then did the gray over top of it. Oh well, live and learn. Some colors are better than others. Here we go again with this damn camera moving all over the place. But anyway, you get the point. I need to fill in that gray. It's going to drive me crazy. It's so patchy looking. And the fun part is defining your props. I've just been using a dark gray pencil. It's literally dark gray. <laughs> and I just try to go in and make some jagged lines and shapes. Shade them in a little bit. Maybe. Will it work? We don't know. I think I might add some more of the red accents. This is a fun project, but it's easy to overdo it, I've noticed. I was going crazy on the other ones, and it kind of just killed the killed the effect. And I tried to bring the red out onto the rock a little bit, so it gives it kind of a glow. So you can see the heat from the lava is radiating onto the rocks. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing in this picture. So there you have it, my lava doodles. So we have, that's a little better in this angle, but look at how it, see when it focuses, that's when it looks crazy because it's just zooming in on every last little grain in the paper. All right, sorry, camera difficulties here. Okay, so we have Star Joy 120, my Color 180, Faber-Castell Black Edition, Lyra Rembrandt, Poly color and Pagos, probably the least <laughs> least interesting of the bunch here, but I was just starting out. Mm, I'll just do, scribble the colors I used on here so I can know. Not that I write the names, I just like to have an idea. If you can match the color, that's generally good enough. You don't need to have the exact same one. No, oh, I put that blue back though. Gray blue, there it is. Gray blue, and then this weird little azure. Why did I choose that? I don't know. So, fun stuff. Hope you got something out of it. <laughs> Maybe you'll color some lava. I like this, this is fun. I'm gonna do a bunch more. I got a whole bunch planned out here. Oh yeah, this is my color pencil sketchbook where I experiment with everything. Oh, and I was playing around with some concepts, just lighting concepts. This is that drawing I did, that terrible one. I was redrawing it here, and I'm trying to play around with the lighting, so I haven't really fleshed out 100% what I want to do just yet, but we're working on it. I like this little outfit, I like a little country girl outfit. This is a little picture of my characters. 
and I'll upload some more as I color them. This one's going to be fun. I was just mixing all brands together here, anything I pulled out of the cups, but I really like how this olive gold from the Black Widow Skin Dark Set looks. It's more of a uh, like a green color. I really like it, but I was putting it everywhere, and then I was using this blue Starjoy pencil as a shadow, and these make a really beautiful green together. It's kind of hard to tell right now with this lighting, but as I finish it, I'll show it. So, and I can't wait to color some of these. This is inspired by a background on some playlist that popped up. And I wanted to draw some rubble, so I kind of copied the window that was in that rubble and added my own things to that. So, and then this is kind of what I want to do with the lava. I'm excited to do this whole piece. I got like a little lava goddess I made up. I want to do her in colored pencils. I just was trying to figure out which brand would work the best. So far, like I said, I love how, I love the Pagos, but I need to redo their attempt because that is not doing those pencils justice. But the Star Joy and the Color did really well. And then the Rembrandt, Lyra Rembrandt were okay, but I don't know if it's just this paper or maybe I need to use more colors because it just wasn't blending the way I liked the way these other ones did. So we'll see. But thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it. And let's take a look at this chaos. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to be studying for an exam, but you see how that's going. Anyway, have a good day, everyone.